how to know that your computer is infected with a computer virus. You may have ran scanners, followed one of my video tutorials, or even went down a Google rabbit hole. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the pros do it. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Before we get into it, I'd like to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura, who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. In a previous video, I covered how you could use auto runs combined with virus total to detect malware running on your machine. Well, as many of you guys in the comments have said, you wanted me to give you a bit more. So this video, I'm gonna give you exactly what you want. When a user suspects that their computer is infected, they'll typically run a virus scanner. But in the event that the virus scanner comes back with zero results, they'll typically do one of two things. They will either go on with their daily life, assuming that everything is fine, or they'll go into full panic scramble mode and download half a dozen scanners and run them all. All right, enough prep talk, let's get into it. Now, if you watched our previous video, you're probably familiar with auto runs, and we're gonna need that again for this video. If you're watching this for the first time, auto runs is a Microsoft application it's designed by Microsoft for Windows, and you can get it right here at the link in description. Once you get to this website, you'll download auto runs and auto runs SC right here. It'll be a zip file. I've already have it downloaded. Once you unzip it, you'll be seeing this. And we have all of these options, such as Auto Runs EXE, Auto Runs 64, 64A, and so on and so forth. But we're not going to need any of them except 64 right here. Auto Runs EXE is for 32-bit systems. So in layman's terms, essentially, if you're on Windows 7 or before and you have less than 4 gigs of RAM, you might be on 32-bit. But if you're on a relatively modern system, you're going to be on a 64-bit system. So we'll need this one here. We're just going to right-click on it and then run as administrator. Once you open up Auto Runs, this will be something like what you see, but we're not seeing everything. First, we're gonna to have to go up here to Options, and then we want to uncheck all of these. So I'm gonna uncheck Hide Empty Locations, and then uncheck Hide Microsoft Entries, and I'm gonna go ahead and unhide Windows Entries since we're going a little bit pro today. Then we're gonna go up here in Options again and click Scan Options. You want to uncheck the first box, and then check all three of the lower boxes, and then hit Rescan. So what Auto Runs is, is basically a technician's top-down view of everything installed in the system. So we can see all of the registry entries. And you can see we have some color codes going on here. And this yellow is sticking out right here. Yellow just means that this registry entry is referencing something that's no longer on the system. So this program is no longer here. But that's not a problem. That's not a big deal. If you want to go in there and delete entries, that's another video. I'm not recommending that. So you can just leave that there. Nothing's going to happen. It's not slowing down your system. It's perfectly fine. Then the next color code you'll see is pink here. Pink does not mean it's infected either. It just means that the certificate or the program here for PC panel, for example, or remote OBSBOT, these are not verified with Microsoft. It doesn't mean they're an infection, but it might be something to look at. But then again, we would still need to have something over here. Now on this column here, we have the virus total column and we see there's numbers like 0 out of 75, 1 out of 73. This is referencing virus total. This They scanned this, and we can go ahead and click on it. If I click right here on this entry where it says 1 of 73, it takes me to uh, virus total, and it's showing 1 out of 69 of the world's virus scanners here have scanned it, one of them has shown it to be suspicious, low ML score. So this detection doesn't really mean anything because Trap mine is a relatively unknown, and it's saying that it's low score, so that just means that it doesn't have a great reputation. Meaning, Trap mine has never heard of this company called PC Panel Software, and therefore it's alerting on it because it doesn't know what it is, it doesn't have a verification with Microsoft, so it's alerting. Essentially, this is a false positive, so we can ignore this. And that is what we'll do with 99% of anything that's like under 3 out of 75 or 3 out of 70, whatever. So I can go down here, 
and I can look at everything. This is Adobe Updater. It says verified, one out of 75. That's a false positive. And so we can look down here. And we have Creative. This is by Creative Labs. This is my sound card. It's not verified. That's not a big deal. But if I want to look at it, I can click here and go to Virus Total. And it says Secure Age says it's malicious. But all of these guys that I trust have said that it's perfectly fine. And also Secure Age did not give us a, a signature. It doesn't know what it is. It's just alerting. That doesn't mean it's a positive. Malicious doesn't exist. That's just saying we detected it because it's maybe bad. Well, it's, it's, we know it's not because it's Creative Labs. I installed this myself. So, and it's only one out of 76. So everyone's voting against Secure Age. Secure Age, rather. And we can keep scrolling down. And there's something I wanted to show you. You can go down all the way down here and check everything on your system. Again, we have these one out of 75s. It's even alerting on work folders, which is a part of Microsoft. It's verified. But this scanner is just way too sensitive. So Secure Age is alerting on Windows. So if it said, I'll show you what a real positive looks like and it'll be like night and day. Now, something a lot of you guys have brought to my attention in the comments is that you were getting all of these errors under the virus total column. And this doesn't mean that anything's broken. This just means that we've been rate limited by virus total. We've submitted the maximum number of inquiries in a single day that we can submit to virus total. So in order to use it again, we have to get around it and we're going to use a VPN. Now you can use any VPN you want. If you signed up for Aura, you can use Aura's VPN, which is very strong. In this case, I use NordVPN, but you can use practically any VPN. We're changing our IP address so that this will let us submit new queries to VirusTotal. Now that our VirusTotal column is working again, here is how you become absolutely certain that your system is not infected. We're gonna go through all of the entries on the system and we're looking through the VirusTotal column for anything in red. And again, one out of 76 is not a detection. We'll look at it anyway, but I'm gonna show you exactly what a real detection looks like. We're gonna scroll down. Everything's clean, 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 clean. Again, yellow just means that file is no longer found. It's safe to ignore. Everything is great on the system. And I know my system's clean. Now to show you what a real virus detection looks like, we're gonna go ahead and submit this Linux rootkit, this virus that only works on Linux. Yes, there are viruses, a lot of malware works on Linux, and this one we're studying. We're gonna go ahead and submit it to Virus Total. Um, you won't have this context menu, um, so you could actually go to choose file uh, on virustotal.com and then hit there and then open it. Um, I can show you how to get this context menu. You can go to this link in description here at Major Geeks. It's the Virus Total context menu. Uh, if you know a bit about computers, it should be relatively easy for you to set up. You just have to download it uh, and then edit a JSON file and add your API key from Virus Total. But you have to have an account here, not a big deal. But you can always just choose a file here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my context menu and we're gonna go ahead and submit Brute Kit to virus total. Now this is a real detection. 33 out of 59 scanners have flagged it as malicious and it's not just saying low score or malicious, it's actually saying Trojan root kit and it's, we even have the name of it, it's called brute kit. This is a very dangerous um, low level infection uh, for, for Linux. And this is what a detection looks like. Not one or two and it doesn't know the name. This is saying exactly what it is, that it's really dangerous. That's what a real infection looks like. So before you open a file that someone sends you or you download off the internet, you should always be submitting to Virus Total. I'm gonna submit this and I'm gonna get a report from Virus Total and zero out of 50 vendors that scanned it say there's nothing here. This is not a detection, it's perfectly safe. This is a detection. And if as long as you're going into auto runs, this is only checking stuff that's installed in your system. It's not checking everything you've downloaded that's just sitting on a secondary drive. But if you're going through here and everything's looking good here and you check out these one out of 75s, this one's saying that Elastic thinks it's malicious, but every other big name in the industry says it's fine. This is a false positive. This is a detection. This is nothing, this is safe, and this is a false positive. As long as you've done all of this, then you can relax, your computer is safe. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Did you find anything during your scans? Tell me about it in the comment section. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.